going ahead with our plans to build this magical dream farm thing. Roy's going to talk to the bankers on Monday and show them what we're going to do. Well, I'd kind of like to see it too, Roy. See it? You're going to draw it. No one had ever built a Disneyland before, so Walt assembled an eclectic group of artists and technicians who understood his vision. He dubbed them Imagineers. The early Imagineers really pulled together as a team to make Walt's dream a reality. Hey, somebody ought to tell that fellow the smoking lamp is out. <laughs> The shirt's on, gentlemen. We have ladies in the audience. Yes, working conditions have improved since then. And it wasn't long before we were making magic all around the world. Today, we're home to nearly 1,500 talented people whose skills range from the intriguing to the downright unusual. You might be wondering how we've managed to stay on top of our game for over 60 years. We think it comes from a genuine passion for having fun. That started with Walt Disney himself, who was always fascinated by new things. All the little streets are going to be very intriguing with shops and things, fried plants and things, all kinds of money movements and things, second cow and the big things. We're always exploring and experimenting because we're curious. And curiosity keeps leading us down a new path. Speaking of new paths, some of 